Hey guys, back again um, for another shave video for you. Hope you enjoy it. So, just got out of the shower. Face is good and, good and hydrated. Today, um, we have a special video for you. I was sent these blades by Dorco. Uh, these are the Prime. Uh, I believe these are the ST101s. Um, they're the Prime Platinum. So we're going to be using that today. We will be using our uh, Recur Slant razor. So we'll go ahead and get this blade loaded. So uh, sake of full disclosure, I was sent these blades. Um, was told to give them a try, give an honest opinion, honest feedback, and see what I think about them. This is uh, this is a blade that a lot of people seem to be talking about. Seems to be getting a lot of buzz and a lot of hype, so I figured I'd give it a shot and see. I'm going to use it in the slant because that's going to be the true test of the blade, I feel. Uh, it'll, it'll make it where we'll know for sure if it's a good blade or if it has any tugging or anything like that. So, we got the razor and the blade soaking in warm water so it's good and warm on my face. And so what I'm going to be using today, and some of you all will laugh and that's okay, but it's a... This cheap little Bender Hagen soap that you can buy at Walmart, Target, that sort of thing, with a Cremo made by Belong Horsehair. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. Just gonna get a little bit of water on the face again. Done a little bit of research on these blades. They seem to be um, very well made. Dorco is a uh, company I'm sure many of you are aware of. They do make some safety razors. Um, I've not personally tried any of those yet. However, I was, like I said, for sake of full disclosure, I was given these blades. I did not buy them, but they were given to me to try out. And with the understanding that it would be a fair and honest appraisal. So let me just get a little bit of this soap that's still on top here. Put it on our face. There we go. The reason I like to soak the razor and the blades in water is, especially the warm water, it definitely seems like it makes it a whole lot easier when it hits your skin to begin with. Not quite as much of a shock on the skin because it's, it's a cold metal. So Give that a try guys, see if that helps, see if that makes any difference for you all. As always, you know, your mileage may vary, but in my experience, it really does seem to work quite well. What I'm doing now is I'm just dipping the head of the brush in the water. A little bit more water, some soap. I'm trying to get a really good, good lather built up here. So, typically, my blade of choice that I use in this uh, Mercure razor is, or are either... Um, So that's Silver Blues or Astros. Alright, so we've got our leather started here. Go ahead and begin. Again, this is the Mercure 37C. It is the slant. Very nice. No tugging, no pulling. Definitely a sharp razor definitely a sharp blade. Um, as far as the sharpness, well we'll know more about that here in just a few minutes. Now. 
Who thinks it? But now this is just the first shave out of it, so this is just an initial overview, an initial um, fillet. You can definitely, definitely feel it, which is not a bad thing at all. They're soaking. Check our first pass here. Yeah, first pass is amazing, actually. Um, I've actually got the nose much, much better than I thought it would. Alright, I might have some new blades now. A new favorite set. Let's see how it does this time with a across the green pass. We're going to weather it up here. spot down on the bottom but that's not the blade that's always get a spot down there. There we go. Just line that up for the second pass. I'm gonna go across the growth now. Oh wow. That is definitely nice. Definitely nice. Uh, oh yeah. I can for sure feel the blade on that. It's very sharp. Very sharp. Good. That's very good. I'm not sure if these are Teflon coated or actually, to be honest with you, they have any coating on them at all. But all right. So now the normal test is to see. I normally have quite a bit left over right here in this area and it actually, even with this blade, it actually did a very good job, very good job. So the cheeks are good now, I'm going to come underneath the neck right here, Just get the neck a little bit more because that's my trouble spots. I'm going to get that little mole right there every single time it seems like. Alright, let's see how that's going to do here. One more spot right there. Wow. Pleasantly surprised. Normally that's a extremely hard area to get. Yeah. Not bad, guys. Um, hang on just a second. Let me get my face dried off here real quick. I had a, I had a uh, bug bite right there and it seemed to have gotten it again, but well, guys, I would, I would say on a scale of um, one to five, I'll give these a four. Uh, I did notice a little bit of tugging um, and a little bit of irritation from the neck area right here and right here. Maybe me, maybe the blade, I'll have to try on a couple different razors to find out. But I think it's a great pairing, the Dorco and the Mercure 37C slant. Guys, you can't go wrong. Great shave, irritation free, except for, the, like I said, the two little spots right here. But that happens on every blade, so I can't really fault the Mercures or the uh, Dorcos for that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, until next time, have great shaves.